Hello and welcome to my channel. This tutorial will show you how to make some creative art using fractions. To create your fraction art, you will need a square piece of paper or card, some small coloured squares of paper, and some small coloured circles of paper, a pencil, glue stick and scissors. Firstly, fold your square into half this way. Then turn it round and fold it carefully in half the other way. So now you've got a point at the centre and you've got the lines dividing it into four quarters. The next step is to start folding our shapes into fractions. So I'm going to fold this shape in half. When I fold this square in half I get two rectangles. This will give me, when I cut them out, two lovely rectangles to start creating my shape art. There we are. And as you go along, you can choose different shapes and fold them into different fractions. I'm going to take this circle, I'm going to fold it in half. We can see that we've got two halves which make a hole, but then I'm going to fold that in half again. When I open that up, I've now got one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. When I cut these out, it gives me completely new shape. I'm now going to label the back of these so I know what fractions I've cut different things into. Quarters, one quarter, this is another quarter, this is another quarter, and this is another quarter and this was a whole square that I cut into one half and another half. Okay, I've got halves, I've got quarters, I really want some eighths. So I've got a circle, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold that in half again which we now know will give us quarters. Let's just check that. If we open it up, yes, one, two, three, four quarters. I'm now going to fold this in half again. So I'm splitting one quarter into two. And now, if I open it up, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections, which means I've split it into eighths. I'm going to label those now. One eighth, an eighth. Once I've labeled them all, I'm then going to cut out my eighths. Right, I want to know what a sixteenth looks like. Now, so far, there's a bit of a pattern I can see. When I look at the denominators, 2, 4, 8, the next one is 16. So each time, can you see a pattern? When I fold this, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm 
I'm going to fold it in half again. So now this should give me quarters. And I'm going to fold them in half again. Now this should give me eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to fold that in half again. And this should give me a sixteenth. Let's check. Should be sixteen pieces here now. If I count one side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two eights are sixteen. So each one of these is a sixteenth. So I'm going to label that now. A sixteenth, a sixteenth. I'm going to continue labeling them and cut those out. So now I'm going to be a bit ambitious and I'm going to have a go at making a thirty tooth. So we've got two, four, eight, sixteen. Double sixteen is thirty two. That means I've got to fold it quite a few times. So we'll see if this works. So folding it in half. Now folding it into quarters. Yep, one, two, three, four quarters. I'm going to fold it again into eighths. I'm now going to fold it into sixteenths. And we are sixteenths. I'm going to try to fold it into thirty two. So that means I have to fold it one more time in half, which is going to be really tricky. But we'll see how it turns out. Right, let's see what a 30 tooth looks like. Should be 32 pieces on this. It's going to be tricky to cut. I'm going to have a go. So here we have our 30 tooth. A very, very small. And I didn't cut them all out, but that's what they look like. I'm now going to fold my square in half another way because I don't only want rectangles for my artwork. I also would love some triangles. So I'm going to fold it in half the other way. I might fold another one in quarters the other way so I get some smaller triangles as well. I've folded it in half, and I'm going to fold it in half again. And now I have triangular quarters, and I might also do that for eighths with maybe what colour should I use? Maybe green. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again, which will give me quarters. And fold it in half again, which should give me eighths. And these are nice because they're nice rectangles. Don't have any wide rectangles, so it might be quite nice. I'm going to do a few more of those. I'm going to label them and cut them out, and then I'll be ready to create my artwork. So now that I've got all my different shapes, my different fractions cut out, I've got halves, quarters, eighths, sixteenths, even thirty tooths, and I've got my whole shapes. I'm going to now start to use those to create my art. So what I'm going to do is carefully move those aside so that I can still get hold of them. But now I'm going to bring my base 
black folded sheet of paper. Remember, it's folded into quarters. So now we can use these fold lines to help us make our art symmetrical. We know where the center is and we can line things up. And this is the really fun bit. I'm gonna just have a little play. I'm not gonna stick anything down yet. I'm just gonna play around with the symmetry and see what I really like the look of. Now I know that blue and orange go really well together. They're called complementary colors. So I'm gonna have an experiment and see what this looks like. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't, I'm not sure yet. But this is all about your creativity now. Oh, I quite like that already, okay. What else should I put? Quite like these. How do, how do I want them sticking out? Oh, that's nice. So really, this bit is all about playing around with your ideas being creative, thinking what colors look great together, using the symmetry to make your whole design as symmetrical as you can. And, you know, if you don't like it, just move something around, you know? It doesn't have to be perfect straight away. It might be that you decide you wanna change things add things, take things away. Notice that I'm putting them down with the label of the fraction on the other side so that now I'm not worrying about my fractions, I'm worrying about the art and the shapes and the colors. So I'm gonna leave you now to have a little play. I'm going to have a little play too and then I'll show you what I've come up with when I get to the stage where I'm ready to glue it down. Once you've made your artwork symmetrical and you've placed all the pieces in the design you want, the next step is to glue it. Here's a handy little tip though. If the paper, the black paper, keeps moving and shifting and wiggling your design, you can put a piece of masking tape under each corner and just press it onto the table so that it stays in one place and the only thing that's moving are these as you glue. Just makes it a bit easier. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do like and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at, at Art.